From children to seniors, more lives have been lost in Texas after a winter storm devastated their power grid, leaving millions with no heat in single-digit temperatures. It's Friday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Crisco. Right now, help in the form of food and water has arrived from central Illinois. The latest on Winter's Wrath makes up tonight's top story. And unfortunately, the number of people killed by this storm is now up to 47, stretching across 10 states. The town of Abilene alone accounted for seven of those fatalities, including an elderly couple found dead in their home. Now, a water crisis is the latest to unfold. Most of the heat and electricity is back on across the Lone Star State tonight, but food and water are scarce. In Galveston, a military plane brought 84,000 bottles of water all the way from California. In Houston and San Antonio, thousands of people are waiting hours for the basics, food and water. I don't think any of us was expecting this and for it to be like this. So it's all about survival right now until it starts getting warm. No water. It's, it's real bad. And I have a seven year old and it's like it's tough. If that wasn't enough, this San Antonio apartment complex was destroyed by fire. In Del Rio, the mayor says his city's wastewater system went offline for an hour this week, sending sewage seeping into some low-lying parts of the city. This is something that it, it's, it's beyond historical, beyond unprecedented. It's a chain reaction of worst-case scenario of worst-case scenarios. Now, without heat to warm them, pipes are also bursting across the state of Texas, leaving some 16 million people without water. The number of power outages, though, is now down to 100,000, but it could take another several days to get the lights fully back on. And so many people in central Illinois are wanting to help. The Midwest Food Bank in Bloomington Normal is packaging boxes of food and toiletries headed to the Lone Star State. And these boxes have enough food to feed a family of four up to four to five days. The food bank turned the, to the community for volunteers to help pack 4,000 family food boxes. Executive Director Tara Ingham says volunteer slots for today, tomorrow, and Monday are already full. To see the response from the community, people wanting to be involved to help from a distance uh, for our you know, neighbors all the way down in Texas is really a touching thing. And the first shipment of boxes should be in Arlington, Texas tonight. If you are interested in helping, Ingham encourages people to call Midwest Food Bank or check their Facebook for more volunteer shifts.